important thing for manufacturers to bear in mind is that manufacturing is the second largest uh, focus for attacks out of all of the um, various sectors. So quite often manufacturers uh, might regard themselves as, um, as, as not being a focus for hackers, but in fact they, they very much are. And they're exposed to all of the same threats that any other uh, company or any other industry would be um, subject to. So everything from email uh, malware to phishing emails to uh, spear phishing attacks, um, all of that stuff applies just as much to manufacturing as it does to any other uh, area. As an industry, uh, UK manufacturing is um, extremely vulnerable to attack. Manufacturing infrastructure traditionally has not been put together with um, cyber security at the forefront of uh, the considerations and therefore there are various areas that are, are vulnerable to attack um, because the infrastructure just wasn't set up to defend itself against um, the, some of the cyber threats that we're seeing at the moment. Cyber security in general is a, an area where there is a um, a drought of skills, uh, manufacturing in particular, uh, will find it difficult to recruit enough people in order to uh, have the skill sets that they need to protect not just the manufacturing infrastructure, but also the threat that comes along with attaching various devices to traditional infrastructure in manufacturing that opens up the attack surface for the hackers. So yes, they are going to, they, they will suffer, but all industries are suffering in trying to recruit enough people at the moment with cyber security skills. IoT brings its whole, whole new set of threats for the cyber security landscape um, because what it will do is open up different parts of the infrastructure that were closed off, um, connect them to the internet and therefore expand the attack surface for the hackers to uh, focus on and to, to get access. So IoT in itself is a fair example of security uh, being a final consideration and not thought of up front because once that device is connected to the internet it's vulnerable to the hackers. Organisations need a clear security strategy in place. Um, indeed in our own um, uh, recent Cisco survey, almost 40% of uh, manufacturing organizations said they didn't have a clear cyber security strategy. They need to think about this up front, it needs to be documented, and they need to do a gap analysis and find out where their vulnerable points are and work out a, a plan for not only remediating those, um, those weaknesses, but also having a plan in place to recover, if necessary, from a cyber security attack. I think it's again cyber security is being thought of as a um, as a as well as rather than being thought of up front uh, and as as a business enabler. I mean, cyber security is very much something that will give manufacturers access to new markets if it's done correctly. But if it's done as an afterthought, then they'll be open to hacking, and it will also prevent them from getting into um, what could be potentially very high revenue generating uh, areas. I think the executives need to recognise that the cyber security team within an organisation needs access to that CXO level, board level a group so that they can actually um, be part of that strategy, um, um, it can be thought of up front uh, and that they have a clear voice so that they can be heard at board level and make sure that they're a key part of the company's overall business strategy. Manufacturers can call upon companies like Cisco and Cisco's partners in order to supplement their own internal workforce with, with the skills that we have on board, but also they need to be aware that there's an insider threat as well. So, so their own staff need to be educated not just in the cyber security uh, area, but also in the threat that might come from outside. And in fact, at Cisco, we regularly carry out internal uh, phishing email tests on our staff to see who clicks the link and who doesn't click the link and as a manager at Cisco I get a report of any of my staff that have fallen for it.